Is he a little bit rusty? We're going to soon find out. Welcome back, Nathan Corbett, the absolute legend, the man with the golden elbows, and fantastic refereeing there. Oh, yeah, no, well, that, was, that fight was an absolute cracker of a fight. I'm so glad I got the opportunity to referee crazy. that fight because it was wild. And Belchowski was a last-minute stand-in. Yeah, wow. But, yeah. Nathan, I'm going to tell you off because I did say to the fans there was two knees in the clinch. Yeah, so. no, I don't know the rules, mate. So, you know, I just jump in there and I'm like, <laughs> if, the, if the boys are working, the boys are working yeah. hard, they should keep fighting, you know? Like, but, um, you know, if it was stalled, when they stalled it, I, I separated, but hey. Yeah. But I'm, I'm saying that in a little bit of tongue in cheek. My, I, I, my pedigree is in refereeing. But I have to say that all the guys tonight have done a fantastic job in officiating. It's really been top notch. And they've all, look at the, look at Krause, look at the look on his face. You, he's totally committed. No, he's right there. And he's focused. In, he's yeah. in the fire. So you all have like. been. When you're, you're in there, you feel like you're in the fight. Yep. So, right. well, so here we go. Right, the last fight of the night, main event. Let's see if we can bring some action like that, like semi-main. Wow, that Valchowski, if, if he had a fight camp, I'd love to see him come out uh, prepared. But that was the last fight. Let's focus on this one. Both these guys look sharp. And Frangis Goma, he should be sharp. He's the current European ISKA K1 champion and last year's French K1 champion. He looks in absolutely fantastic yeah, yeah, shape. And the, and the French are really, really great at Muay Thai and kickboxing. You know, they're high level, high level yeah. country. So it's going to be a good match up here. You know, but, but you know, but, uh, but Troy, you know, he's, he's got a lot of experience. He's been around for a long time. Let's see if he can fire up and, and show us what he's got tonight. Yep. And being the last fight of the evening, he's got Bulgaria on his shoulders, maybe, to, for, to finish the night victorious yeah, he's going to want to try and bring it home strong for his country as Goma there just wraps him up oh but does a great job breaking him up yeah the intensity is uh you know a little little less than the last fight so they need to crank that up to get the audience screaming yeah finish the night on a high so Frangis Gomar from France in the red gloves and white shorts and obviously with the darker skin. Alexander Petrov from Bulgaria with the blue gloves, black shorts and much paler skin. So let's see. Both these guys have got credentials in kickboxing. Goma in fantastic shape, super confident. It looks good, but you know, like there's two minutes down in the first round. We spoke about that earlier. You know, it's a three-round fight. You don't have time to waste. You know, the intensity's not there. He's not electric right now. He's sort of, you know, letting the clock tick down. Yeah, and they're under 85 kilograms. They're not heavyweights, so they shouldn't really be overly concerned about gassing. No way, not in a three-round fight. It's just you know, pedal to the metal, full throttle, go for it. You know, obviously, you know, with precaution, don't run into anything, but at the same time, pushing hard. And I, I have to say, if I was competing on this event, not only would I be trying to win, there's a flying near attempt, not only would I be trying to win, but I'd also have it in my mind that I want to impress the promoters because I want to be invited back to Senshi 17. Yeah, look, you know, you want to be provided, you want to be invited back, you want to increase your fight purse, you want to get sponsorship, you know, you've got all those things you have to, you have to go and you have to pull the trigger and, and be red hot every time. End of the first round. You know, that was, uh, you know, in my personal opinion, that was, you know, a, a slow first round. You know, for the main event, that's a slow first round. I want to see a little bit more pressure. Gomer in the first, you know, 30 seconds of the first round was throwing leg kicks. They were working for him, and then he sort of stopped. You know, there's a couple of kicks there, and he kind of didn't really attempt to throw much in the later rounds. A couple of head kicks obviously missed. There we go again, but there's not much in that. There wasn't much power. Almost ate a good body shot there. Nice little knee to the midsection. Back leg chop, returns with a head kick. Yeah, you, you'd love to see these guys in the main event both come out like Velchowski. <laughs> well, let's just see, you know, exactly. Let's just see what the, you know, let's see what the corner's got to say. You know, it's one round down, there's only two to go. So who wants it? You know, it's it's all about who wants it more and, and put that put that fire in there and, and turn it on. Yeah, but we we don't want to see people come here and fight for a decision. We want to see guys come here and fight to finish. Fight to their finish. Opponent. That's what we're doing here. We're fighting to finish. And then fight to finish, and once they finish their opponent, help him up and shake his hand. 
All right, round two. Here we go, second round of our 13th and final event at Senshi 16. Nice jab. Oh, whoop, that, that caught him. Kick. Yeah, just on the top of the temple. Yep, that caught him. A high kick glanced off the right temple of Petrov. I think he's still wobbly. He needs to pounce on him right now, you know, unload, unload. Don't, don't tie him up, don't wrap, you know, don't spoil the distance. Keep it range and just throw those bombs. Multiple combinations, hands upstairs, downstairs. Yeah, uh, whoa, that means he's, uh, yeah, I would be tempted, go in. Straight right to the body, boom, left hook upstairs, something like that. Yeah, Petrov, he's back now, you know, he's, he's got his faculties back. He's recovered. But it just shows you how this can turn around. Cheeky little high kick. <laughs> Protect yourself at all times. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Beautiful back leg chop. See that to the head kick. Nice. Beautiful combination. And a right hand. And that's where it's at. Throwing combinations. Punches in bunches. Setting it up. Downstairs, upstairs. Yeah, he needs to do more of that, you know. He, once he landed those kicks, it was beautiful. A little bit more fire. And you see that low kick there thrown by uh, Goma. Yeah. Lackluster. Yeah, huh? there's not much in it, you know. It's not like crunching down, like really trying to break that leg. It's sort of placing it on the thigh, hoping you'll get a score. And you can hear the Bulgarian fans trying to uh, get Petrov going. He leave that jab, like there's nothing in it. Well, so, like, placing it there. Is he trying to set something up? Yeah, but when you jab weak, you know, you, you can you leave yourself vulnerable to get get hit hard, you know. So even if you think you're setting something up, it can be really mm. can be really dangerous because you don't have anything danger in it. You you left yourself wide open for another shit shot. And you could say, you know, you know, it's easy to sit here and commentate. It's easy fighting when you're not fighting, but these guys are experienced. Yeah. Well, I've been in there and fought 64 fights, so I know, yeah. what, I know what I'm looking at. <laughs> so I can say whatever I want. Yeah, yeah, fair one. <laughs> fair point. There's a nice left hook. Beautiful. On the bell. Whoa. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that, that um, caught me there. I didn't hear the bell. So end of the second round. Man, once again, I didn't score the first round. Um, and it was pretty uh, yeah, even. Yeah, I mean, that, that fight, that, that round there, I guess, you, you know, you would give to, to Goma because of that kick, because of this, the, you know, he didn't, get an, he didn't get an eight count, you know, but he got knocked down. So that's going to be, you know, I guess, from the referee, uh, from the judges' side of things, you know, a dominant position of striking him, getting the rocked on the head kick and putting him on the floor. Um, Krause didn't give him the eight count, and I think he did a good job not giving it one because he wasn't completely rocked. He had a chance to then keep him in the fight. Yep. And, uh, you know... <clears throat> He didn't capitalize on it and get in, and really go for the kill. Yeah, well, in the second round, he should have smelt blood and been all over him like a rash. Um, well, let's see. So, we come in. All right, it's the final round of the, of the fight. The third and final round, the final round oh, of no. the final fight. Yeah. Come on, boys. Let's turn it up. Put some heat in it. There we go, nice head That's kick. What, yeah, here kick. we go. A little bit more pep in this step. Oh, that um, seems to hit a nerve or something. Whoa, that was a, a nice left hook. Yeah, and that's what he's got. He's got a beautiful counter left hook when he uses it. I want to see him go to that body and come back upstairs, you know, rip, yep. rip low, come over the top. A little bit more, you know, combinations. Yeah, single shots aren't working. 
But when he throws a punch and finishes with that left hook, it, or counters with it, it's effective. Yeah. So this is still the third and final round. It's anyone's fight. And because of that knockdown, I'm going to say... Yeah, there's a head kick again. Tempting it. I'm going to say that uh, Goma is two rounds ahead. So Petrov has got work to do. And he's got one and a half minutes to do it. Yeah, if he wants it, he's going to have to really, like, like you said, you know, put the hammer down, really show some effective, you know, combinations. And, you know, just, just show that will to, will to kill, you know, like a little bit more intensity. And you can't fight a three-round fight like it's points. Nah. Um, well. He's got the power. How's it? Less than a minute. Mm. They're going to pull these two apart, maybe a little stoppage or slight second round advantage might have got going with the win here, but well, not too far ahead. 30 seconds to go. I make a I make a cheeky prediction that we're going to have an extra round. There's that high yeah, kick we, again. We haven't had one all night, so you never no. know. They, they might leave it to the last. There we go, a bit of action. It's, the corner should be shouting out there now. Go, 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 Dubai, there Dubai. It is, there it is. Come on, 10 seconds. Let's hit it. Last separation of the fight. Let's go. Five on. Ding, ding. Well... We'll see. Nice, nice enthusiasm in the last five seconds. And, I mean, they were quite busy throughout the whole fight, Nathan. But it's got to be effective busyness. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Effective. Um, it's got to be a little bit more vicious. You know, a little bit more, you know, intentional intent behind it. Not just sort of racking up you know, hits and just thinking it's going to... Look impressive. I mean, that, that exchange there at the end there, you could see the heat in both their eyes they were actually throwing to hurt. It was, that was the best part of the fight, probably that last 20 seconds. And maybe, I don't know, you know, if they had, a, if they had that better warm-up and got up to that animal level, out, so they come out... Come out racing, you know? Yes. Yeah. Well, they shouldn't need that. They should just have to flick the switch and turn it on, you know? Maybe, who knows? We'll, we'll see what the judges have got to say. As we close this show out, I'm just I'm still pumped and sweating from my fight. I was just refereed. I was jumping around there. The guys are going crazy. Brilliant! I mean, it's that, great, that, isn't that, it? I wanted to like you know call out the fight. That, that was Ladies definitely I think you know the the, 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 um, the fight of the night. My yeah, definitely. Opinion. 100%. Yeah, they should get a little win bonus for that one. Hey, what did I tell you? Extra round. I mean, uh, if you're going to leave it to any fight, you might as well leave it to the last well, fight. Well, they must have heard Make me. it exciting. I felt that was going to be the case. Well, it was kind of, you know, it was pretty even, wasn't it? You know, it was like back and forth. No yeah. one was really dominating, I guess, for the excitement of the, the closing show. Yeah, Goma's got an argument that he did, he got that knockdown, but there wasn't a count. There wasn't a count. Said. So, I mean, it doesn't really, it doesn't count as an 8-10 round. And so. I don't, I think this is the best thing that could have happened to this fight. Yeah, this might show him actually to fight for it now. Yeah, yeah they might you've got go, one round left, guys. Right, let's prove it. Let's go. Yeah. It's not, oh, maybe I got the first and second. No, it's like you're even. So you've got one round to prove it. It's interesting what you're saying. Uh, here we go, here we go. About refereeing, when I was refereeing at, uh, I say my peak, my busiest as a referee, I used to do a fighter's warm-up out the back. Yeah. And uh, people used to say to me, what are you doing? You're not fighting. I said, no, but I'm in the fight. Yeah, and that's how I got into the zone. You totally are. Skipping, pad work. Here we go. This is better exchanges. Oh, kicking hard. Come on, Petrov. Don't throw single shots. Follow it up. No, look, one round left. If you leave the ring and, you've, and you haven't given it 
especially after a fourth. Or an extra round. Yes, lovely. That's that counter hook we'll chat talking about. And a nice low kick, high kick. Here's the crowd, the crowd are him. ripping. He's got him. He hang in there. Come on, put the pressure on. That's it. Come forward. Well, he's there for the taking, I think. He's wrapping him up just to get a breath. Well, one minute 45 left at the fourth extra round of this final fight of the evening. Oh, both of them throwing effective punches there. The crowd have gone nuts. And Petrov. Oh, yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Petrov has got victory in sight. He can finish this fight. There's that hook. Yes. But he's throwing it on the end of other, other techniques. He's not, it's not a single yeah, straight punch. Off the cross. Well, his corner should be shouting at him. He's got a minute left. Um, and listen, may the best man win. Yeah, if he puts the heat on him right now, you know, he's going to send him deep, deep into that round and, and he won't be able to come back. So he already won the first part. We should have finished strong. But he's got to keep working. Yeah, to Petrov's keep... Got, to, just got to keep coming. If he wants to stay... Uh, in the judge's eyes, you can't let Goma pull it back, yes. which he's doing. Oh, they're both, both pretty tired, you can see. One punch is only, one kick. Right, come on, last 10 seconds, guys. Let's go. There it is. Oh, oh, what a way to finish the round. Almost on the chin. <laughs> and the bell goes. Oh, my goodness. Well, well, that was an exciting last round. You know, at least they sort of, you know, redeemed themselves. Yeah. More, more explosion, more, more aggression. Imagine that for three rounds. That's how we wanted to finish the event. Yeah. On a high. Beautiful combination. And One, two, three, four. Big leg chops. Back up for the knee, yeah. You want me to go out on a limb? Let's go. I'm giving it to Bulgaria, Nathan. Yeah, no, um, I definitely think he, he took that round and he, he deserved the win for sure. You know, he just put that extra pain on, the extra pressure. You know, those. he didn't get an eight count, but he certainly was punishing him with those punches. And let's remember that... Stunned him. In, in a, a kickboxing match like that, you score the first three rounds, if it goes to an extra round, that round is judged on its own merits. That's it. So forget the rest of the fight. That round went to Alexander Petrov. I'm certain of it. There we go. Yep. Bulgaria takes the final fight of the evening. What a way to finish an absolutely world-class combat sports event. Um, he did his country proud. But he had to pull it out the bag in that fourth and final round. Well, that's definitely the exciting thing about that, you know, that, the extra round, you know, to yeah. have, have that as an option to go the extra round. Otherwise, it would have been kind of a boring fight and not really finished that's on a good. high. Coming into the fourth round was exciting. It was action-packed. He really showed he wanted it. And he threw some beautiful combinations, come home with a win. And so deserved it. You're absolutely deserved right. Deserved well. Come yeah. home strong awesome. and did his country proud. And it drives me crazy when... Uh, in a K1 fight when fighters take their gloves off um, oh, after yeah. three rounds. And then they've got to lace them back up yeah, again. <laughs> tell me they don't do that on purpose. Um, well, what an evening it's been here in Varna, in Bulgaria. We've had an absolutely star-studded list of referees. Nathan Corbett, Andy Sauer, Albert Kraus, Jan Sukup, to name just a few. Um, Senshi 16 surely is one of the best, most prestigious events Europe has got to offer. And it's going from strength to strength. Nathan, uh, the list of sponsors itself 
is off the chart. Rolls-Royce, Bulgarian Air, BMW, to name but a few. Um, this show cannot fail. Exactly. When you think about it, like, you know, six, it's only 16 shows. You know, they look at the UFC, they're up to like 290-something, you know, so... You know, things things take time to grow, and yep. you know we're only it's, it's it's early days right now. It's already forging ahead so strong, so powerfully. So I can only imagine to see it, you know, in the next 20, 30, 40 shows, what's going to happen.